comme des adresses, yo, des adresses où bio et je mets bio plé, mais c'est des protestes n'a plé ou des plé. Si dans ça, 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 on crée non sens et ça, des formes, c'est des adresses. Oh, you don't match up because you marry et pas. Oh, chien à mon. Mr. P of P Square have finally come out to speak or to say his own side of the story. And it wasn't what we thought could be the problem. I would really love us to watch this video. This is a video of Paul talking about something and it's a very recent video. Let's watch it before I proceed. Uh, no, that's not it. I said I'm here for Road Boy. If you bring P Square, I'll tell you there's nothing like for now, no P Square. I'm focusing on Road Boy as an artist and a Road Boy as a brand. It's simple. Awesome. Like I said, like the same voice that they hear before that, I'm going to stay here. And now I plenty of them say they're not missing much here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Road Boy, thank you for speaking. So if you listen to that, what Paul has said, you realize that Paul is the one declaring right now that there is nothing like P-Square. I mean, there is no P-Square that is focusing on his own brand, which is Road Boy, like Fire Department. But he said, at first, he said, Peter was the one who declared that there is nothing like peace square that Peter said he is not doing again. That is what he said. That is the exact statement he made in an interview. So um, let's keep that aside and deliberate on what Peter said. So I will actually, you know, emphasize on what Peter said concerning the whole thing. You know, he has been mute for some time and allowed Paul to be talking and Paul was appearing on different interview, Mr. P has actually said his own side of the story. So let's quickly see his own side of the story. Oh, uh, Mr. P said something and he said the reason why the breakup occurred was because Paul was so disrespectful. Or should I use this? Paul is so disrespectful, especially to his family. Why is Paul so disrespectful? Like, what actually prompted that disrespect? He said so many things that he has never, he has never arrested any member of his family, that he didn't arrest Peter. I mean, he didn't arrest Paul and he didn't take Paul to any EFCC. What I'm trying to say, for Peter to say, if P-Square have to come back, then they need to settle that issue. That is simply saying that he wants them to come back. Paul is not ready to forgive. Like he's not ready to forgive at all. He's not ready to do that. But Peter here is saying that if they want P-Square to come back, Paul needs to be respectful to him and his family. So I think we are getting where this problem is coming from. Paul said Peter got him arrested, you know, and the EFCC had to, you know, call him for investigation. He was angry about that. And right now, Peter is saying that there is nothing like that. So who are we to believe right now on this? In life, everyone are gifted differently. What I can do, you may not be able to do that thing. I think this is what is happening among P-Square. Not that Mr. P is not good. Not that Mr. P does not know how to sing. Not that Mr. P does not know how to do anything. Of course, Mr. P is contributing hugely for the growth of P Square. Likewise, Paul. But I think, you know, we human beings, if there is something another person is doing and we cannot do it, meanwhile, that thing is not part of us. We are not gifted with such thing. We will start feeling inferior, like we will start, you know, having this inferiority complex within us. I think this is what is happening to Mr. P. According to Root Boy, Root Boy said, you know, Mr. P always keep demanding to produce 50% of the song that they are supposed to sing while he produced 50%. You know, before Root Boy was the one producing this song, like writing 95% of their songs. But right now, he said, Mr. P never want to buy that ideas again he's not comfortable with that he said he want he want root boy and jude to let him be contributing by writing 50 percent of their music and you know when this guy writes music not that the song is not going to to be good the songs 
will be great. The songs are great. But, you know, there is this pattern of peace square that we all had already loved. So, Peter's pattern cannot really work. Peter pattern 100% cannot really work for the growth of peace square. So, that is why the three of them, Jude, Peter, and uh, Paul, has concluded and decided that let Paul be doing all these things while you'll be doing the dancing part. With this, Peace Square can grow. It is not that you are you are you are not useful, it is not that you are not sensible, it is not that you are you are you are you are you are, you are less. No, but Peter wasn't seeing it this way. Peter see it the other way. According to Paul, Peter always get pissed off when they are traveling. Anytime when they were, they were traveling, people start saying, who is the singer and who is the dancer? This one our audience are asking. According to Paul, he said, Peter wasn't cool with that. Because of that reason, Peter wants to show the audience. Peter wants to prove to the world that he can sing and he can do better. I think this is where the conflict was coming from. Because today, not the DJ. Oh, yeah, my DJ. I see with the oh, yeah. Please tell me go. I want to go and sleep. What is this? So, correct. Guys, thank God for coming all the way from Dubai. That's the way to Abuja. All the way from Dubai. And I came back again to make up. I love you. Thank you so much. I love you. 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 You, eh? Anybody that wants to sign you must meet me. Ah. Your price has gone up. Yes. Nothing like this. Nothing like go come. I don't go agree for anybody. <laughs> I don't know what to say concerning this. Like, guys, come on. I saw this video and I, I was speechless about it. Uh, about Bob Risky gaining freedom. Uh, it was released from prison yesterday, I think August 5th. Yeah, it was released yesterday. And you need to see how he or she was jubilated, gathered so much friends. He has not even gotten home when these friends blocked him and started, you know, celebrating the release or the freedom stuff like that. And you need to see Bob Risky, you know, looking fresh as if there is nothing wrong with him or her. I don't know. I keep confusing this guy's gender. Let me just use he or she. Anyone I use, please take it. Take it because even me myself, I'm confused about his gender. <laughs> so, guys, oh, without being said, this Bobrisky of a man is kind of somehow, although, although, without him for the past few months, you know, the social media has been boring. Honestly, I am not lying about that fact. Bobrisky is kind of a troublesome guy, he's the most talked about personnel on this internet especially on instagram so uh no, now that they have let the dog out of the cage hmm. please i just want everybody to start expecting more troubles more basketballs from social media you know social media has been silent for for a while now now bob Risky is out of his <laughs> of his trap <laughs> but still he was doing right now in this video is like looking fresh and so many people uh, they were just saying that Bob Risky is looking fresh. Come on, look at Bob Risky looking fresh. What are they be feeding him? Like, I was just looking at eh, 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 him. Eh. Now, wow, people will still be like this, no still wise. Bob Risky would that we know that is a is a is a is a cloud chaser like cruise master. Hmm. I would say makeup has finished. Foundation, foundation, but to don't finish for anybody. Honestly, when we go to that prison and still look fresh like this, tell me. Publicity has started again. He has started again, and uh, video showing him, you know, throwing party here and there. Even went on boat cruise, all those things. Oh no, this guy, he, he, from prison, from prison to social media lifestyle, he didn't even bother to go home to to rest. Or stuff, nothing like that. On the way, he just start his content. He started his content on the way. Here are a few comments about 
Bobrisky that you need to see. Somebody said Bobrisky enter prison slim and came out fat. Bobrisky came out with a laid fronter, mommy of Lagos for reason. Did Bobrisky go to prison or he was under house arrest? I don't know. If you ask me, who am I going to ask? Let's see another one. Try the go prison. See as Bobrisky fresh. <laughs> Come on. This guy is actually advising advising you guys to go prison to do something that will take you to prison so that you can be fresh as Bob Risky. And another person said, People did go prison, lose weight. He reached Bob Risky tall and go fat. Come find a woe. Same prison now the way oh, this one Bob Risky came out looking like Christmas chicken. She make up at his day prison me. Lagos has been motherless for a while now. She na prison them come they do frontal for Bob. If you ask me all this question, I really don't know who to ask. But from my own point of view, I think Bob Brisky is not looking as fresh as we are seeing him. You know, makeup has done a lot of job on him. Makeup has really done a lot of job on Bob Brisky. So we should not be carried away with all this appearance. We should not be carried away. Do you know one thing? Uh, I'm looking like from now to five years time, how will Bob Brisky look like? How will he look like? I don't know if he's going to retire from all this stuff that he's doing. But if he refrain from it, it's actually going to serve him well. But if he don't tell so more, it's going to be a shameful thing at the end. You know, it's going to be a shameful thing, honestly. Like, will he be doing all this kind of thing at old age? That is what I'm trying to, like, figure out. But I don't know. That is his life. If he chooses to be, to want, if, if he chooses to, if he chooses to go this way, that is his life. Maybe he loved doing what he's doing. Not maybe, he loved it. Regina Daniels, the country favor you where when you go end up with Neds. I want your answer. He favor you where when you go marry Neds. Because now you they come outside the form wife of Senator to address the to address the youth. You be first wife, I be, be second wife, I be, be third wife. Like which number you be for you to they come, they form say you want to address. You leave that that duty for first wife to, to do not be you. Except now your followers when so be say you want to dress and even the course when the followers ever give you, I know say you know expect them. The fact that they tell you say you make the right decision, no me say we won't make that same decision. You don't understand. People they want to get pride and ego when one marry as first wife, when they enjoy their husband, get right over their husband. So the fact say you marry, <clears throat> man, no talk. No me say you can carry phone, they address who you they address. Not try am again, no, not try am again. Anything when you sign Nigeria, you not talk put again. You not get that right to talk put. You dey here, smally, come they address your, they address who be your age, me to be your playmate. I tell you say the protest na play with the play. You sit down, try, try, try one kind of nonsense inside the form say you dey address. Oh, you don't mash up because you marry a pa. Not try am on. There is nothing wrong with what Regina Daniel did. There is nothing at all wrong with what he did. Regina Daniel actually, you know, came out to advise. Was she advising? No, she wasn't advising. But the way social media took it, it looks as if she came out to advise Nigerians. No, this girl actually came out to, you know, should I say encourage or should I say give his own, you know, opinion as a form of protest so that the government should, should, should take action like to bring changes to the to bring changes in our country nigeria but this is not how so many people see it they are seeing this as a form of disrespect you know somebody is actually saying something very important but some angry nigeria came out and to say that she was dis disrespecting them good day everyone it is day two of the national protest in nigeria Everyone is frustrated nationwide with justified reasons. And something needs to be done to ease the hearts of the people, to avoid further loss of lives and properties. Nigeria is not a one-man's land. Hence, it is not a one-man's problem. Nigeria can only be fixed by the collective efforts of everyone in the government, ranging from the president, the governors, the senators, the House of Reps members, the House of Assembly members, down to local government chairmen and councillors. What happens when the federal government understands the plight of the people and the state or local government does not? Or vice versa? 
the job still remains undone, leaving thousands hungry, suffering and jobless. The hike in prices of food, water, electricity, transportation, security and communication is alarming. There is hunger in the land. Nigeria cannot be fixed by having half bad eggs and half good eggs. All the lawmakers need to be in sync with the people's plight to fix Nigeria. Only then can what is rightfully allocated to the grassroots get to them. This should be a government for the people, not against them. And our armed forces, please refrain from using excessive force on the people. As everyone has a right to air their voices and demand for transparency, accountability and participation to avoid further loss of lives and properties by our own people. Thank you. From my own perception, I think this lady here went too far. She went too far. What could be the reason why she's doing all this to Regina Daniel? Could it be because of jealousy? Could it be because of... Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know. You know, you see so many people like cheering her up, saying that what she did is the right thing. Regina Daniel is nobody's mate. Regina Daniel is a small girl. How can she come out on social media and start advising? They are not saying that she was advising Nigerians and she wasn't advising Nigerians. She just came out to give her own one cent about the hardship of the country. And this is what she got in return. <laughs> that is Nigeria for you. And this woman actually told her a life story, a life. She, she, she finished Regina Daniel from head to toe. And I guess she went too far about the whole thing. So I don't really know what is your opinion concerning this. How do you see this? Should we blame Regina Daniel for coming out to speak on behalf of Nigerians? Or we should blame this lady here, you know, for coming out to shade or attack Regina Daniel for speaking her mind? And this lady here was actually insinuating that Regina Daniel got married to Ned Umoku because of her she. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. Without Ned Owoko, there is no way Regina Daniel would have been suffering by now. There is no way. She's already a brand. She's popular. There is no way she, she will suffer. She would have suffered if not getting married to Ned Owoko. There is no way, honestly. So I see, I see no reason why people was trying to say that because of hardship she got married to Ned Owoko. As for that, if you ask me, I would say that is not the reason. That is not the reason. And the reason is best known to her. The reason is best known to her. And she has even went ahead to say that if I didn't get married to Ned, I would have still married an older man. Beautiful actress Regina Daniels has finally revealed why she married a much older man. In a statement, she said, even if I didn't marry Ned, I would have still married an older man. I am not attracted to men of my own age group. I have never had interest in marrying someone my age or younger. I, I always wanted someone who is twice my age because I am very stubborn. I want someone I will respect and someone who can give me orders that I will obey. I respect my husband a lot and he is like a big baby to me. I believe that ladies should consider older men as partners. Valid advice or not, ladies, what is your take? on this moral lesson what's attraction when money is involved hmm regina daniel has spoken this she said this honestly she said this no you know your decision might not be another person's decision so for you to try for you to be imposing it on other ladies i think regina daniel is wrong you don't have to be imposing what what works for you to other people because it might not work for them it might not work for them. So getting married to an older man works for you doesn't mean it will work for another person. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please don't hesitate to subscribe. You know, when you subscribe, it will keep encouraging us and we're going to grow together. Subscribe and turn the post notification bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you will be the first to get a lot and also don't forget to like this video share it to all your social media platforms let's see you on our next video have a wonderful time and peace out